welcome welcome all ambi welcome over here welcome to gain trading crypto today we're going to do a macro macro vid it's going to be a really important one to those that understand uh, economics and understand how people are able to make life-changing money like making life-changing money is not by uh, following a trend or following a formal guru or whatever it's understanding the economics it's understanding the macro uh, macro charts it's understanding where we are and where we're standing at this moment so that's what we're going to talk about today i'm going to talk about a lot of things so if you are going to get surprised today don't be just focus on what i'm going to explain because why it's what gonna make you that pro trader that's all what it's all about so gain trading crypto why am i showing you this today because this is what is going to make you successful or a loser so this is what it so don't be like 99 percent of retailers following whatever meme coin whatever ponzi whatever shiller out there no start focusing on how you can become a game trader I have been sharing a lot of offer also in a free private group today so let's get this show running please push on the like leave a comment below we're growing very very steady past weeks and there is a reason for that there's a reason why we're growing so strong and then, <coughs> today I also saw a retailer he made a list of his top 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 list of influencers or, or alpha that he follows and well i was on top of that list and i thought to myself you know it's only possible for someone to put me on the top of that list if he's a retailer because retailers are the only ones that are objective Influences can't be objective because there's a lot of money involved in a lot of things, if you know what I mean. So they, even though if someone would be the best trader or the best analyst or the best alpha is sharing, they will never, ever tell you that. Never. Because why? Because they're in it for the money. And the money by money, I don't mean money trading. I mean making money on marketing and a lot of other things. So uh, that's enough about that. Let's jump right, right in, guys. You, EUS, these are the 50 biggest stocks in the eu uh, so what are we seeing we're seeing a possible double top i shared this on twitter also this morning this is something is it finally going to happen is this it is this it is the us5 uh the, the, is the euro stocks the 50 the, the ustx stocks from europe are they finally going to make that big correction that they need and you know i was eyeing it like this because we've got hey where's my tool tools pepper 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 well i'm gonna Come later to Pepper. Guys, look at this. Are we finally going to see this? Because, you know, we had this rise up. Oh, to the trend line. We went up. Is it time that we're going to head back into this trend line? Let me give my honest opinion. Yes, I think it is. I think it is time that we're heading back to this trend line. So this is also a chart. Very, very, very important. Why? Because the US stocks and indexes are very correlated to what Europe is also doing and vice versa. It's, 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 they, they run together, they dump together, they go up together. It's just how it is. So let me put it on a weekly. Let's see, let's see on a weekly, we've got over here on this box, we've got, this is the support level for now. Uh, if we will reach over here and then this trend line, but I'm really expecting that it needs to come back to this trend line. Why? Because this was the previous all time high that has got, gotten be broken. And well, when it hits over here, then the, the question is, is it going to hold yes or no? So keep that also in mind. So the all time high was over here. So they broke it, nice rise up, came back, retested the indie and then up again. So I'm really expecting, guys, no financial advice. I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion. We could break this all time high again and make another leg up. That's possible. It's really possible. It's just what I'm eyeing. I'm eyeing, I think that this rise up, it needs to come down or come back to the indicator at least and then down. So let me go to the next one. What we're seeing here is on the Dow Jones, we're seeing the same like we saw on uh, the same like we saw on the US stock. So this is also something to keep an eye on because it's showing the same. So the Dow Jones is also, it's really mind blowing, but this Dow Jones, it wanted to make a new all time high again past week. And now we're getting rejected. Is this also a possible double top? Double top, for the ones that don't understand, double top is one of the uh, most bearish scenarios uh, in uh, trading analysis. So a double top would mean that the price will go down and go down very very hard so keep that in mind so that's what a double topic so let me go to the next one the the nasdaq the nasdaq we've got today nvidia nvidia earnings uh, i think that the earnings will come out after the market close so when the smp closes uh, today uh so that's when the earnings will come out and it's just like i have been preparing you guys from past week and why have i been preparing you guys to be more bullish than bearish so when bitcoin was at 66 63 64 i told you guys listen listen we cannot be bearish. We have to be bullish. And why? Why do we think? I'm no oracle. I don't have no crystal ball. I just understand markets. I understand how markets work. And I know that when NVIDIA has got earnings, that market makers and a lot of wheels, they pre-pump that event. And when they pre-pump it, what you see is that 
that, that prices go up. And when the NASDAQ and the US 500 will go up, I know that Bitcoin will also go up. So yes, we had that Bloomberg news event about uh, uh, ETH, but I think that's just an extra because Bitcoin would pump either way. Either way, Bitcoin would pump. And why? Because <coughs> because of the NVIDIA earnings, it's a, it's, it's a phase, it's always a phase. When there is an event going on, they pre-pump it. And when the event happens, that's when we have to be cautious. And that's when, and how I keep nailing all my predictions. So for now, the US, the NASDAQ has been hitting over here. This line over here, also in a new all-time high. And well, is this line going to hold? Yes or no? It's something that I'm eyeing. As you guys can see, I have my alarm set. So this is very important for me to determine if it's time to open up those big shorts sharing to the team, or is it time to open up more longs? This is what shows me the way. So I'm trying to educate you guys how to read that. So for now, why a lot of people, well, MB, why are you showing us NVIDIA, US 100, the NASDAQ, US 500, and a lot of DXYs and this, why are you telling us it? Because it, it's, it's what's showing you, if you should go long or short, that's all that matters. Gain trading crypto, gain trading crypto, I only need someone to tell me, to be bearish or to be bullish, to be offensive or to be defensive, to be long or to be short. That's all you have to care about because that's what makes you a lot of money. So please guys, while I'm making this vid, I'm gonna stop for three seconds and I hope you guys can give me a like and a comment if you're liking the comment or give me a dislike if you don't like it. Okay, thanks guys, much, 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 much appreciated. So let me go into the next one I wanna show you guys. This one is so important, guys. This one is so important. This is the VIX. This is, a, is let, let me just tell you, for the ones that are new and I didn't watch my VIX, if the VIX goes up, means that the stocks go down. That's just how it works. It's a hedging fund. It's, it, so when this thing goes up, markets go down. When markets go down, Bitcoin and crypto will probably also go down most of the times. Let's just say nine out of 10 times, crypto also come down. So where are we? Where are we? Let me zoom it out on the, on the monthly. Guys, look at the monthly. Look at it. Look at it. We had this low, this was in November 17. And then we've got this spikes down over here. This, the latest one was over here in 20, 2020. So for now, is this going to hold yes or no? If this thing will not hold the line over here, guys, we can expect that this one will break out at higher levels and we're gonna see another big leg up on the NASDAQ. When that happens, well, what are we going to do? Da, 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 da. we're going to open up also a lot of longs on crypto because why we're going to make money the FOMO on the bubble keeps blowing so this is something what today especially today is going to be very important when uh the, the nvidia earnings will get released why i think why is why why am i so why am i am i, am I so focused on nvidia let me show you guys the nvidia chart so first of all we're trying to reach the thousand dollar mark Nvidia, look at this chart, guys. This chart is mind blowing. This is just mind blowing. This is in in, in four years we went from from from, from forty bucks to two thousand bucks. So this is a 20, 25x. So if you think that only crypto can make 20, 30 x's, you're wrong. Stocks can make 20, 30 x's too. This is the proof of it. Well, it took them four years, but uh, Bitcoin did Bitcoin make a 20, 25 x in, in in four years? Let, let, let's look at it. Let me give you guys an example. Bitcoin. Where was Bitcoin at at twenty two? Where was it? <laughs> Oh no, please don't tell me it was here. In 20, 20, 20, 20, where's 20? Over here. Oh, here's 20. Where's 20? Oh, here's 20. It was at 20K. Where is it now? 70K. So it did a poor 3X. NVIDIA made, <laughs> it's really ridiculous, guys. It made, it made a 20X. So just before you start telling yourself, oh, crypto, crypto is the future, crypto is this and that, and, and a lot of people are buying into crypto and crypto. Crypto is doing, has been doing nothing the past four years. Stocks have been outperforming crypto like crazy. Freaking Nvidia, one of the biggest, biggest, biggest companies in the world made in four years a 20X. And if I would go just a little bit back to 2019, it made a 25X. So if you are happy about institution buying into crypto, don't be that happy because why? Before those institutions came into crypto, we were making those 10, 20Xs in months. And since the institution came into crypto, we're trading like stocks, making 2%, 3%, 5%, 4%, 3%. So I was one of the first told them, I'm not so happy about institutions coming into crypto. Let crypto be an asset for the retailers. Don't get those sharks in and those wheels in. But you know, who am I? Okay, so that's about NVIDIA. NVIDIA today, today. I think, I think, I think that NVIDIA will test this zone again and maybe even uh, get a spike up at the thousand dollar marks so or maybe even higher. So because maybe there are a lot of shorts over here where you got some liquidation, maybe it will spike up. But I think, I think that this will happen. This is what I think. It's just what I think. I think maybe we get over here and we get a rejection from here we come down 
or we go, let me, let me, so this is scenario one, number one, or we'll get something like it will go up, 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 or maybe a spike up, and then from there on do something like this and then come down. So that's, that's my, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. I could be wrong because everything, I'm just, I've, again, I'm not crystal ball. I'm just giving you my technical analysis and what I think. So that's what I think will happen at Nvidia. And why is Nvidia so important? Well, if you put it now on a weekly, let, let us put it on a weekly. What do we see over here? One, two, three, four, five green candles. Let's go to the US 500. One, two, three, four, five candles. Let's go to the NASDAQ. One, two, three, four, five candles. What, what do you think this means? What do you think this means? This means I have been saying it now for months or maybe years. NVIDIA rules the markets. NVIDIA is, is, is your number one chart to check how the markets are running because NVIDIA has been lifting up the markets together with the seven magnificent uh, stocks, but NVIDIA is the big leader. And let me show you guys an example to, 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 to make you understand. Let's go to Google. One, two, three, one red candle. So this it doesn't it didn't have five red candles. Let me go to Meta. Look, one, two, three, and a red one. So it's not looking like like, like the US 500 NASDAQ. Let me show you McDonald's. McDonald's is making a nice, a nice McDonald's. <laughs> it's making a nice McDonald's chart away. So again, guys, you, are you, are, you know, I'm showing you just, let, let's see Microsoft. Microsoft is a very strong one. It's uh, maybe just as strong uh, as, as, as Nvidia. And over here, we're seeing the five, the five candles. So this is a solid stock that also falls. But if you would go to Netflix, for example, you see one, two, three, four, five, it's the same one. So over here, you can see the stocks that are outperforming the, the index. So Netflix is going bananas, by the way. So Netflix is for the stock traders. Well, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to say that. So let me go, let me go back. Let me go to the next chart that I wanted to show you guys. We're seeing the DXY over here. And why do you think it made a dump down and over here it's going up? Let's put on the indicator so you understand. That's why. You see the Indy? If you don't own the Indy, the indicator is the best tool to use to make money trading, especially in crypto. So if you don't own this one, there's a description below. If you're trading crypto or you're buying crypto, whatever exchange out there, I made three partnerships with three solid big exchanges in the world. So for everyone, there's something. And even most of the retailers, they have all three of them. We've got OKX, it's the second biggest exchange in the world. You can trade whatever you want over there. A lot of tools, a lot of everything. So OKX, you can trade on a non-KYC exchange. Also will be one of the top five exchanges the coming years, in my opinion, weeks. And you've got for the Dijon style, you've got Maxi. So if you're trading in one of those three exchanges, there are links below, trade on them, send me your UID, I will give you the indicator for free. And if you're active trading, you'll also get access to the private group where all the trading course fits are. And I will teach you what nobody is showing you on YouTube or on Twitter. I will show you all the tricks, all the scams, all the alpha you need to become a solid trader. I will show you every tool you need to have. So for now, DXY, we're on the indie. If this thing starts ramping up today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, it will probably destroy the markets. So if the VIX, so the VIX is very important. If we're going to bounce up over here together with the DXY, if these two start ramping up, it means that markets are going to get destroyed. Markets are going down. So let me take you guys to the next one. I'm going to show you guys a lot of charts today. You see this, this is natural gas, natural gas. I've been trading, making huge money on natural gas. When natural gas was over here and dumping down, I shared to the private members, shared them, I told them, listen, natural gas can make you more gains than Bitcoin. Well, this was February, last February. So this is like two months, two and a half months ago. Look at this. This is 75% price in two and a half months. Natural gas. I'm super, super bullish on natural gas. Okay, let me take you guys to another one. Another one that's very important. I wanted to show you guys. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? I'm not going to show you guys bonds today. I don't think that the vid, the vid will get way too long if I will show you guys also, also the also the bonds, the TLT, what it's doing. I want to show you guys this one. Why can I? I just can't find it. Very important one. Why am I not seeing it? Where are you? Where are you? Are you? Are you? Okay, let me just look it up then. If I can find you, then we gotta look you up. Let me look you up. This is also a very important one, guys. The KRE. Here it is. Let me put it on again because I just couldn't find it. Listen, guys, this one. These are the regional banks in America with the rates so high and, and, and inflation just don't want to come down. If the Fed will keep holding the rates and not cutting anytime soon, or maybe even raising rates if inflation keeps very sticky. This thing might dump down and get into this box. So keep an eye, this box over here, I created this one over here and this one. I, if this thing, this is when you'll see banks fall down. Small bank, regional banks, 
So this, they've showed some strength, one, two, three, four, five. It's exactly the same like the NASDAQ and the US 500, by the way, guys. So you have to keep in mind that these banks, when they are strong, stocks are strong. When they start showing some bearish signs, it's something to be worried about, about the stocks, because they will follow, they will follow. So this is something to keep an eye on. And we're printing over here, we reached the 50% line in this channel and we're getting rejected and it's coming down. So it's going to hold the Indy here, yes or no, but you know, the longer the Fed is going to hold the, 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 the rates high, it means that these guys are getting in more trouble every day again and again and again. So that was about to carry. So let me go now to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, well, we had this one. We're now just flirting with the all-time high. So we're over here. We made this nice bounce up. So over here is this thing. Are we going to see? Don't get scared, please. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Are we going to see something like this? Are we going to see a temporary double top on Bitcoin? And let me tell you guys, if we're going to get this double top on Bitcoin, you should be super, super, super worried. And, you know, it could maybe even reach the, the 75k levels, just like the, the I showed on the inverted head and shoulders on the daily. Guys, this is a possible double top. And if this double top will play out on the markets and it will also play out on Bitcoin, uh, start preparing yourself for the indicator to get really tested because we didn't. This drop down over here, we predicted this one, by the way. Uh, maybe we, we need to really test the indicator at the 53K levels. So this is a really a big possibility, guys, because why? From the move up over here, we did not test the indicator seriously. We did not test it seriously. It did. This was no test, and this was, well, we came very close to the test, but we didn't reach. So if this double top will play out, I think that a lot, a lot of blood will uh, be on the streets. And, you know, I really, I really hope that Bitcoin and the US markets, that they will make a sort of a mini crash. We need a mini crash, just like... Uh, something like this when the us 500 makes a crash down to the 4600 or maybe even to the 4300 just a big big red candle down and also on bitcoin a big red candle down maybe to the 453 maybe even lower why not to the 44 level so over here so i want this thing if it guys just keep in mind that if this thing happens this is a huge 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 buying opportunity and the signs are there. It's looking, it's looking like they want to come down. This double top, uh, all the other double tops, uh, the VIX needs to make its rise up to, to flush out all the, all the, all the, all the shorters over there. The DXY will make its rise up. So is this the moment to keep an eye on a big dump? Well, when I see it coming together, I will share my helmet call. So again, guys, if you want to join the free private, the links are below. Trade on Weeks, trade on Maxi, trade on OKX. Uh, the Weeks token, it's a matter of days, I think now. I'm waiting for the update from weeks, so it's coming up. If you want to join us, trade on one of those, uh, one of those, uh, one of those exchanges. Thank you all for watching. Show some love, show a like, leave a comment below, and until the next one, and bye bye.